ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम ऑल टू टूडेज रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत वी बिन रीडिंग फ्रॉम मध्यलीला चैप्टर नाइन वर्स नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन वी शैल बी कंटिन्यूइंग आर रीडिंग मुकम करोति वाचलम पंगुम लंग हेते गिरिम यत कृपा तम हम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरि ओम तत्स तृतकूपे विश विशालर करी दर्शन पंचापसरा तीर्थे आइला शचिरा नंतना श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु द सन ऑफ मदर शची वेन टू तिटक कूपा एंड आफ्टर सींग द विशाल डेटी देयर ही वेन टू द होली प्लेस नोन एस पंच अप्सरा तीर्थ परपोर्ट बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्तिविदान स्वामी प्रभुपाद शिला प्रभुपाद की जय द अप्सरा डेनिजन्स ऑफ द हेवनली प्लानिट्स आर जनरली नोन एज डांसिंग गर्ल्स द गर्ल्स इन द हेवनली प्लानिट्स आर एक्सक्विजिटली ब्यूटिफुल and if a woman on the earth is found to be very beautiful she is compared to the apsaras there were five apsaras named lata budbuda samichi saurabhai and varna it is said that these five beautiful dancing girls were sent by indra to break the severe austerity of a saintly person called achyuta rishi This action was typical of Indra, the king of heaven. Whenever Indra discovered someone undergoing severe austerities, he would begin to fear for his post. Indra is always anxious about his position, fearing that if someone becomes more powerful than him, he would lose his elevated position as soon as he would see a saint undergoing severe austerities, he would send dancing girls to distract him. Even the great saint Vishwamitra Muni fell victim to his plan. When the five apsaras went to break Achyuta Rishi's meditation they were all chastised and cursed by the saint as a result the girls turned into crocodiles in lake that came to be known as Panchapsara Lord Ramchandra also visited this place from Sri Narad Muni's narration it is understood that when Arjun went to visit the holy places he learned about the condemnation of the five apsaras he delivered them from their abominable condition and from that day the lake came to be known as panchapsara which literally means five apsaras or five heavenly denizens and it became a place of pilgrimage so we have seen again and again narad muni comes to help the innocent victims of indra but we should not condemn indra cuz indra is playing his role in the leela of the lord but we have to learn the lesson nevertheless verse number 280 gokarne shiva dekhi aila dwai paeni sur parka tirthe aila nyasi shiromani after seeing panchapsara shri chaitanya mahaprabhu went to gokarna while there he visited the temple of lord shiva and then he went to dwai paeni shri chaitanya mahaprabhu the crown jewel of all sanyasis then went to सूर पारक तीर्थ गोकर्ण इज सिचुएटेड इन नॉर्थ कानाडा इन द महाराष्ट्र प्रोविंस इट इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी माइल्स साउथ ईस्ट ऑफ कारियोयारा दिस प्लेस इज वेरी फेमस फॉर द टेम्पल ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा नोन एज महाबालेश्वर हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पिलग्रिम्स कम टू सी दिस टेम्पल सूर पारक इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइल्स नॉर्थ ऑफ बॉम्बे in the maharashtra province near bombay is a district known as thana and a place known as sopara surparaka is mentioned in the mahabharat shanti parv chapter 41 verses 66 and 67 verse number 20, 281 kolapuri lakshmi dekhi dekhe na kshir bhagwati lang ganesh dekhi dekhe na chora parvati shri chaitanya mahaprabhu then visited the town of kolapur where he saw the goddess of fortune in the temple of shira bhagwati purport kolapur is a town in the maharashtra province formerly known as bombay pradesh formerly it was a native state and it is bordered on the north by the district of 
Santara on the east and south by the district of Belgaum and on the west by the district of Ratnagiri. In this place, there is a river named Urna. From the Bombay Gazette, it is understood that there were about 250 there, out of which six are very famous. These are Ambabai or Mahalakshmi Mandir, Vithoba Mandir, Tembalai Mandir, Mahakali Mandir, Firangai or Pratyangira Mandir and Yallamma Mandir. Verse 282, so all these mandirs are in Maharashtra, in the present state of Maharashtra, as mentioned in the purport by Srila Prabhupada. Verse number 282, Tatha Pandarpure Aila Gora Chandra Vithal Thakur Dekhi Paila Ananda. From there, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Pandarpura where he happily saw the temple of Vithal Thakur, purport. This city of Pandarpura is situated on the river Bhima. It is said that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu initiated Tukaram when he visited Pandarpura. This Tukaram Acharya became very famous in the Maharashtra province and he spread the Sankirtan movement all over the province. The Sankirtan party belonging to Tukaram is still very popular in Bombay in the province of Maharashtra. As we know, presently Mum Bombay has been um, reverted to its original name which was after the Mumba Devi. It's now Mumbai. Tukaram was a disciple of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his book is known as Abhanga. His Sankirtan party exactly resembles the Gaudiya Vaishnav Sankirtan parties for they chant the holy name of the Lord with Ridang and Kartals. The Lord Vithal Dev mentioned in this verse is the form of Lord Vishnu with four hands. He is Narayan. So those of you who are not familiar, we've already, always heard the Maharashtrians uh, singing the glories of Vithoba. So who is Vithal Dev? Vithal is, is the form of Lord Vishnu with four hands. So he is Narayan, which is locally known as Vithal. Verse 283, Prema Veshe Kaila Bahut Kirtan Nartan Taha Eka Vipritanre Kaila Nimantrana. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanted and danced in various ways as usual and one Brahman seeing him in ecstatic love was very pleased. He even invited the Lord to his home for lunch. Verse 284 Bhut Adare Prabhuke Bhiksha Karaila Bhiksha Kari Tatha Eka Shubha Varta Paila This Brahman offered Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu food with great respect and love. After finishing his lunch, the Lord received auspicious news. Verse 285 Madhav Purira Shishya Shri Ranga Puri Nam Sai Grame Vipra Grihe Karena Vishram Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu received word that Sri Ranga Puri, one of the disciples of Sri Madhavendra Puri, was present in that village at the home of a Brahman. Verse 286 Shunya Chalila Prabhu Tanre Dekhi Bare Vipra Grihe Vasi Achena Dekhila Tanhare Hearing this news, this is verse number 286. Hearing this news, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately went to see Sri Rangapuri at the Brahman's home. Upon entering, the Lord saw him sitting there. Verse 287. So now, Lord is in Rangapuri in the Brahmana's house. Verse 287. Prema Veshe Kare Tanre Danda Paranam. That means Dandavat, as we know. Ashru Pulaka Kampas Sarvange. Pade, pade, ghaam. As soon as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the Brahman, he immediately began to offer him obeisances in ecstatic love, falling flat to the ground. The symptoms of a transcendental transformation were visible, namely tears and jubilation, trembling and perspiration. Verse 288 Dekhiya Vismith Haila Sri Ranga Purira Mana. Uthaha Shripada Bali Balila Vachana. Upon seeing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in such an ecstatic mood, Sri Rangapuri said, Sorry, I think uh, I mistook this uh, person Rangapuri to be like Sri Rangam. No, it was Rangapuri, Rangapuri, the person who was mentioned in, two, in the verse 286. Upon seeing, now we are reading the translation of verse 288. Upon seeing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in such a, an ecstatic mood, Sri Rangapuri said, Your Holiness, please get up. 
वर्स टू एट नाइन श्रीप श्रीपाद धर मोरा गोसानीरा संबंध ताहा विना अन्यथा अन्यत्र नहीं ना ही ए प्रेमरा प्रेमार गंध ये होलीनेस इज सर्टनली रिलेटेड टू श्री माधवेंद्र पुरी विदाउट होम देर इज नो फ्लेवर ऑफ एक्सट्रैटिक लव पर्पज शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर रिमार्क्स दैट इन द डिसिप्लिक सक्सेशन ऑफ माधवाचार्य मध्वाचार्य अप टू द एडवेंट ऑफ इज होलीनेस श्रीपाद लक्ष्मीपति तीर्थ ओनली लॉर्ड कृष्णा वॉज वर्शिप्ड आफ्टर शिला माधवेंद्र पुरी वर्शिप ऑफ बोथ राधा एंड कृष्णा वॉज एस्टैब्लिश फॉर दिस रीजन श्री माधवेंद्र पुरी इज एक्सेप्टेड एज द रूट ऑफ वर्शिप इन एक्सटैटिक लव अनलेस वन इज कनेक्टेड टू द डिसिप्लिक सक्सेशन ऑफ माधवेंद्र पुरी there is no possibility of awakening the symptoms of ecstatic love the word gosani is significant in this connection the spiritual master who is fully surrendered unto the spirit supreme personality of godhead and has no business other than the lord service is called the best of the paramhansas the paramhansa has no program for sense gratification he is interested only in satisfying the senses of the lord one who has control of the senses in this way is called a gosani or a goswami master of the senses the senses cannot be controlled unless one is engaged in the service of the lord therefore the bona fide spiritual master who has full control over the senses engages 24 hours a day in the lord's yes. service he can therefore be addressed as goswani or goswami the title goswami no, cannot no. be inherited but can be given only to a bona fide spiritual master there were six great goswamis of vrindavan shri rupa sanatan bhatta Raghunath Sri Jeeva Bhagopala Bhatt and Das Raghunath and none of them inherited the title of Goswami all the Goswamis of Vrindavan were bona fide spiritual masters situated on the highest platform of devotional service and for that reason they were called Goswamis all the temples of Vrindavan were certainly started by the six Goswamis later the worship of Gos- temples was entrusted to some household disciples of the Goswamis and since then the hereditary title of Goswami has been used However only one who is bona fide spiritual master expanding the cult of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the Krishna conscious movement movement and who is in full control of his senses can be addressed as Goswami unfortunately the hereditary process is going on therefore at the present moment in most cases the title is being misused due to ignorance of the world's words etymology so the last verse for today वर्ष टू नाइन जीरो एटा बली प्रभु के उत्थान कैला आलिंगन गला गली करी दुन्हे करेना क्रंदन आफ्टर सींग दिस श्री रंगपुरी लिफ्टेड श्री चैतन महाप्रभु एंड एम्ब्रेस टेम वेन दे बोथ एम्ब्रेस दे बी गैन टू क्राई इन एक्सट सी सो विल कंटिन्यू विद आर इंडिंग नेक्स्ट टाइम थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग हरिओम तत्सत हरे कृष्णा शिला प्रभुपाद की जय कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी की जय गौरा प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल